Well, I got a bunch of you guys asking for drop visors, the same one I had on my other truck. So I decided that I'm going to start building them and putting them out there. You guys want to buy them? You've been asking? You guys got to inbox me. Um, you guys really got to be serious about it though and I'll uh, pass along the price tag. It won't be... It, there won't be as much money as a regular visor because obviously it's, it's going to take a little work on your end to get it going. You know what I mean? Like you have you have to fit it, you have to paint it. You know, um, I'm only putting them out that way. Um, I do have one that's ready for polish, but if anyone anyone knows how to polish anything, you'll know that it takes some time to polish some stuff, and you'll be there you're there a long time. So in order to keep the the cost down. Um, I'm going to put them out as painted only as my CV mic sways in front of my camera. Here, have some CV cord. Um, well, seeing me is not important anyway, so you guys need to hear the word here. But I'm also building some other things also, um, like airline boxes. I'm sure you know what they are. If you've seen them, some of you are like, what the hell's an airline box? box that goes behind the cab that runs your airlines and if you have some type of um, plug for your trailer, uh, whether, it, whether it be a double plug or a single plug, um, they're all incorporated inside there. It just kind of cleans up the back of the cab, got your catwalk in the back of the cab. So um, I've made a few of those already. Um, I have four visors made for an R model. So yeah, that's what I'm going to start doing. There might be something coming more, you know, a little more of this coming later on down the road. I'm not sure yet, but I'm um, just gonna get my, uh, just gonna get myself going here. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I know you have a lot of guys have been asking for them, and this is your opportunity. Like I said, it's not gonna be a ton of money for these things. I'm not giving them away either. I gotta make something. You know what I mean? I gotta buy the metal, and my time is obviously valuable. Because they obviously don't make these visors for these trucks. Um, exactly warranting because I know how I fit them. I do a lot of fabricating on my end. And I've done them. I've made my share of mistakes also, but I've also had to eat my own mistakes. You mess with one of these things up, you own it. You know what I mean? But if uh, you have it on your truck and something legitimately breaks on it, like the the welds on the bracket that hold it to the cap break, because uh, they're all going to be boltless. Um, if that breaks, I will warranty that. I will send you out another one. You send me the old one back, I send you the new one, and we work from there. You know, that, so, well, uh, we'll figure it out. You know, um, like I said, hey, I'm doing this, so. Cut me, some, cut me some slack, man. Cut me some slack, Jack. So I'm gonna do what I can for you guys. I know a bunch of you have been asking, so, I don't know. Let's, let's get some production rolling here. You guys want one? You got my inbox. Please, serious inquiries only. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate the, the love from you guys. Do your love your visor, it's really awesome, blah, blah, blah. I really like to have one of my, of my own. Well, I'd love to give them away too, but hey, I got a family to feed just like you guys do, you know, so I gotta make something. Plus, I gotta buy the metal. Um, so, that's it. Inbox me. I'll throw in some extra video clips and some more of my CV cord for you guys because you love CV cord. I'll throw some extra videos in at the end just to keep you guys entertained because that's what I like to do. All right. Peace. Because you guys. Are we filming right now? Yes. Awesome. I like it and I am a fan of Chris Del Free. Yes. This is what I say to anyone who doesn't like them. <laughs> she is. Wait a minute. Kiss ass. <laughs>